Hello, James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Um, today what I'm going to do is talk about Maths Basics. I spoke last time about building a good foundation. So <clears throat> the first place we normally start is the decimal place, um, place value system. Um, and I'm just going to look at the, main, the four operations here and how we deal with decimal numbers because it's not as difficult as kids think. Normally kids see a decimal point and they, and they worry, you know, they don't need to. So for add and subtract, it's actually really easy to help children remember what to do. I always tell children to think about the shirt and the buttons going down. Um, and they line up exactly one above the other. So if we look at 2.3 plus 1.4, the main thing that a kid has to remember is that you line it up using the decimal point and you never deviate from that. So 2.3 plus 1.4, and then you continue the decimal point down into the answer. Now, if we were going to have a different number of digits on each side, what we tell kids is you've got a gap here and it's okay to have a gap because the main issue is lining up using the decimal point. So if you, I, was, I teach kids, not everyone teaches kids to do this, but I would say put a zero there as a placeholder. It helps the eye and it, and it just makes more common sense. So one plus one, seven, three. Okay, so that was easy. Same thing with subtract, exactly the same process. line up the decimal point into the answer. Um, again, if you had an e extra digit here, put a zero as a placeholder. Um, and I won't bore you with <laughs> doing that simple arithmetic there. Um, for This is something that not all kids come in knowing how to do bus stop division, but it's not particularly difficult. Um, the main thing is we say the number on the right goes outside the bus stop, goes outside in the cold. That's a simple thing to help kids pin the idea on in the head, goes outside in the cold. So this is shirt buttons, one on the right goes outside in the cold. But this is still shirt buttons, so add, subtract, divide, shirt buttons. So shirt buttons, you carry the decimal point above, okay, so it doesn't go there. Um, six, one, okay. Very simple. So shirt buttons, shirt buttons, shirt buttons, line them up using the dots. One on the right goes outside in the cold. This is where we deviate from this a bit. For this one, I say copy out the, the question, underline any decimal places, any number to the right of a dot, um, then copy it out without the decimal. So it doesn't confuse children. So they don't do shirt buttons here. Then what we say is bounce it, back in at, bounce it back in at the end from the right. So we've got two decimal places in the whole question. So we do one, two. So it's 6.36. So that's copy it out, write it out without, bounce it back in at the end by the number of decimal places. So <clears throat> that's all of the decimal operations. And you know, just very simple things for kids to hang their memories on, you know, shirt buttons, line it up using the dot, use a zero as a placeholder. If you get a gap, gaps are fine. One on the right goes outside in the cold, shirt buttons for multiply, copy it out, write it out without, bounce it back in at the end. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed this quick um, tip. So hopefully it might help you with your, your child, say, starting out on their 11 plus maths journey. I look forward to seeing you next time with more advice and guidance. Thank you. Goodbye.